What is going on everybody? Welcome back. Actually, it's not even welcome back. This is a series that is going to replace the Cedric Luke series. And there's a lot to go over, so I'm going to go over everything. And the, somewhere on the screen will be the time for where the video actually starts. The game starts against... I think we're going to go up against Phoenix Suns in this episode. But yeah, here's the time. If you don't want to hear me talk about what this series is about, how long it'll last, what the roster is like probably know by the title but just skip to that time we be gucci but for those who want to know we are doing a justice young michael b jordan my career if you did play 2k17 you know orange juice one half of it was justice young but there's a little spin to it every team got at least one two some teams got three of their all-time players yes so uh, we do play for the Kings. They are ranked the worst in the league. They are projected to be the worst team in the league. And we got the man, Justice Young. These stats are all correct to Michael B. Jordan. Six feet, 189. He's 31. Uh, Stats-wise, he's basic. I mean, this is what the roster had with him. These are his stats. He, he really can shoot and dunk. Defense. Defense is... Perimeter defense is good. But he's going to be a point guard of this team. I am going to go through the roster real quick. It's not gonna, it's gonna be quick. I'll skim through it. We got Aaron Iverson for the Sixers, Kareem on the Bucks, Michael Jordan and Prime D Rose on the Bulls. Uh, we got LeBron and Kyrie back in Cleveland. We have Larry Bird and Prime Isaiah Thomas in Boston. We got Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan. Lob City's back in LA. We've got Marcus All and Tony Allen. On the Grizzlies. This Grizzlies team's not good. I didn't want to put my con because John Morant's there. So I chose to put Marcus Saul and Tony Allen. I should have put Mark and Pow. That's who I should have did. I didn't even think about that. But maybe I'll fix that. Maybe I won't. Probably I probably fix it. Let's be honest here. Um for the Hawks, we got Dominique Wilkins for my Miami Heat, my favorite team. We got Wade and Butler playing together again, but this time it's Prime D Wade. We also brought back Chris Bosch. To the team uh for the hornets one of the worst teams in the league actually the second to last projected worst team in the league kemba walker and added alonzo morning and larry johnson they did not have any good type of all-time players for the utah jazz i added john stockton and that's it for the kings jury sauce uh for the knicks walt frazier and carol anthony they are projected to be pretty bad also uh for the lakers rest in peace we got kobe bryant and we got Shaq. But other than that, this is actually the top ranked team in the league, just off of these two. The rest of the team is kind of booty cheeks. Honestly, it really is booty cheeks. But these two, they they, want, they got three-peated. I mean, what else do you have to say? Uh, we got the Magic, who is also ranked to be a top worst team in the league. We got Howard and McGrady here. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki is with, back with the Mavericks. We have Dr. J and Jason Kidd back with the Nets. We have um, Alex English on the Nuggets. Paul George on the Pacers. Anthony Davis back in New Orleans. We have Isaiah Thomas and Grant Hill with the Pistons. For the Raptors, we have Vince Carter and DeMar DeRozan returning. Uh, Rockets, we have Akeem Olajuwon. Uh, for the Spurs, Tim Duncan and Kawhi Leonard. The Suns, who we're going up against in this video, Steve Nash. And that's it. I just added Steve Nash. Uh, I should have added someone like Amari Sotomayor, but I didn't. Uh, the Thunder who is actually ranked to be the third to last team in the league. They're ranked very low for having Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook back together. And they still have Shea Gilgis Alexander. So this Thunder team is scary. Uh, Tim Wolves, Kevin Garnett, everything else is the same. Uh, Blazers added Clyde Drexler. They finally get that wing player that they've always needed. Uh, the Warriors, they're the same. All I did was add Jason Richardson and bring back Iggy. So, because they're the Warriors, I wasn't going to... It was either do what I did or add Wilt Chamberlain. I wasn't adding Wilt Chamberlain to this Warriors team, I can tell you that much. For the Wizards, the final team, Elvin Hayes is joining John Wall. I did boost up his rating to what he was in probably his best season, which was 16-17. So, I boosted him to an 89. So, this should be very, very interesting. I've done enough talking. I'm going to jump to this game against the Phoenix Suns. Here we are, Premier Week. We are going up against the Phoenix Suns. And Phoenix 
for this one if you did skip through the intro we are doing a justice young my career but every team has between one and three all-time players on it as you see Pedro Toyakovic on the king justice young is on the sacramento kings the suns got um steve nash some teams that didn't have the best all-time players got two or three like the hornets got three all-time players etc etc so this should be fun it's a little spin it's something new so what let's let's enjoy this okay you see the starting lineup justice young fox pager marvin bagley to marcus cousins for the kings and you see the phoenix suns lineup matchup of the night will be between justice young and steve nash so let's get it going steve nash starting off in the post and he's got me jumping but he's going to miss that shot to Marcus Cousins with the rebound. I see De'Aaron Fox leaking. I'm open for three. My first shot. And it's a miss. Marcus Cousins screen. I'm looking for something to get going here. Set another screen to Marcus. Throw up the lob. And it gets tipped. Oh, on the fast break. I'm driving. This is going to be Justice Young's first points in the NBA. Let's go. Justice Young, Michael B. Jordan, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the Justice Young. Maybe slash Michael B. Jordan. You know, get those extra views. Oh, Steve Nash cutting right to the basket, getting his first points. All right, down by five. Both bench squads are out except for me. I'm still in the game. So we're going to run. Oh, no, Devin Booker's also in the game. We're going to run a floppy route with Buddy here. That was not a good route. Ooh, the step back. That's a cold spot, though. But Bialincha's on the board. I got to fix his hot spot because everything's cold for him for some reason. Because, you know, in 2K17, this dude was lethal. So I'm going to make a couple hot spots for him. Everything's cold for some reason, especially from the perimeter. It's like an 85 three-point shot. So I'm going to fix that. But as of now, it's not looking like we're going to hit many perimeter shots. I'm on the break. On the break. I got Ricky Rubio with me. Spin move. And he strips me. No! Come on! Get the ball! Devin Booker on the break. He's gonna make that somehow. Oh! Justice Young to the basket! We're still within five somehow, but this half has been terrible offensively and especially defensively. Shot clock winding down, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. 24 to 29, still anyone's ball game after the first. We got we got to be better defensively, especially offensively also. Bro, I'm still in the game. I have not had any sort of rest at all besides the one timeout we used. So that shows the coach, I guess, needs me. But he healed floppy route. He can he get open? Can he green say yes he can? Fast break. Uh, I was gonna kick it to healed. But I see Bogdan not fully cutting. Hop step in the lane. He gets fouled. And I'm finally in subbed out. Down by four. We'll see what our bench can do. All right, we're still down by four. I'll take it. Bro, Dardo Sarge hasn't missed at all. So great job, Marvin Bagley. You have been playing terrible defense. Bruh, come on. How is Dario Charge have 16 points and hasn't missed from the line? That's going to be a foul on him. He only has one foul. Why was Frank Kaminsky open to Marcus? Bruh, okay, I can see the issue on this team. It's definitely defense, bruh. Definitely defense. This is insane. No wonder why they had us ranked the worst team in the league. That is... We just have atrocious defense. It's really bad. DeMarcus Cousins can't abuse Frank Kaminsky of all people. Come on. Get foul. Thank you. Foul. Third foul on Steve Nash. Five seconds left in the first quarter. I've been on a whole offense and basically defense when I'm guarding my guy. But I hit both free throws. 53 to 57. It should be either us having the lead or a tie game. And Devin Booker's going to get an easy shot at the buzzer. Why are we giving up that shot, bro? We're down by six at half when we should be at least tied. All right, now, this is my third attempt at trying to record this new segment I want to do for halftime. Uh, because I tried it in the Cedric Lewis. That file ended up basically crap in the bed. And I tried it in a Gerald Johnson video I tried recording twice. But the audio never recorded, so I couldn't do that. So hopefully... The fourth time's the charm. So, we're going to do a little halftime segment that shows the player of the half for each team. You're seeing it up on the screen right now. We're going to start with the opposing team, the Suns. Player half for the Suns has to be Dario Sarge. 16 points, 
six rebounds, two assists, on five for five shooting from the field. This dude has yet to miss. So he has been balling out. For the Kings side, it has to be uh, Justice Young. Buddy Heald, you know, was close, but Justice Young, 15 points, seven assists, five for 11 from three, five for six from the free throw line. He hasn't really done much else. But that, but yeah, that's that's the halftime report. I just want to mention how DeMarcus Cousins, you're not going to see this, but six points and he's one for nine from the field. Let's get into the second half. Right to the basket. Oh, that should have. Okay, it was a foul. DeMarcus Cousins, please. He still manages to miss. This dude is a bum. He had one for ten. Come on. The only person doing work on this team is me and Buddy Heald. And that, what, Devin Booker, what was that? And we're going to flop her out with Buddy Heald because he seems to be the only other source of offense on this team. Buddy Heald for three. Come on. That's buckets, buddy. Let's get it. Gonna run another floppy route, buddy. We are getting dominated on the glass, bro. They are out re rebounding the hell out of us. And there's Aiden. Right there. Right there. Work. Don't work on Aiden like that. Not Aiden. Aaron Baines. I didn't mean Aiden. Oh, man. I'm an idiot. Why didn't you? I would have pulled up for that. Oh, Darren Fox. Why did you? What? Can we just play defense here, Marvin Bagley? I know you can't guard the god himself, Dario Saric. But at least guard the god himself, Aaron Baines. Come on. Like, I understand it's a tough challenge, but you can deal with it. Let's go. Let's go, De'Aaron Fox. I see you. I see you, De'Aaron. Tight game. You see what happens with DeMarcus is it in the game? Bro, Buddy Heal, 20 points, 8 for 10 from the field. He has been our savior in this game. Without him, oh, we'd be down by so much. But when you're fouling like that, bro. I'm getting subbed out, please. We have a lead. We're up by seven. Let's go, second unit. Second unit came in and balled out for us. I'm going to pull up for the three, make things better. Oh, hallelujah, we're up by ten. DeMarcus Cousins, you're open. Come on, dude. He hits a three. I don't know what he's shooting, but he actually hit a shot. Oh, I greened a three. That's only my second three of the game. I'm two for six on the night. Three-point shooting has not been a strong suit this game. I've also been quiet this whole fourth quarter because we've slowly been dominating. And with time winding down, we are going to walk out of Phoenix in Justice Young's debut game, winning 127 to 120 against the Phoenix Suns. It was a close game throughout, but we luckily pulled it out in that second half after being down basically all of that first half. Box score for the night, Dario Saric, the god himself, 27 points, 10 rebounds, 9 for 10 from the field. He missed only one shot, near perfect on the game. Devin Booker, 24 points, Steve Nash got clamped, he only had 16. Wow, Dario Saric was our kryptonite tonight, huh? For our side, Justice Sean, 36 points, 15 assists, and a block. Did not shoot well on the night, except for free throw. Shot 12 for 26 from the field and 2 for 7 from 3. I really got to work on the shooting. DeMarcus Cousins actually turned it up in that second half. Uh, he ended up with 20 points, 15 rebounds, shooting 5 for 17. He got to the line. That's really what he did to, you know, start cooking. In that second half, he had 14 points, shooting 50% from the field. Instead of the first half, he was 1 for 9, so... Yeah, he really started turning it up. Buddy healed off the bench 20 points, 8 for 11. He was a real spark that won us this game. If it wasn't for Buddy healed, we would have probably been blown out. If not, we would definitely lost. Darren Fox, 13 points at that starting shooting guard position. 6 for 8, 1 for 1. Marvin Bagley, 11 and 7. He could not guard uh, what Dario Starwich for some reason. Peja, disappointing for his game, but he'll pick it up. 9 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks. Shooting... Nah, percentages from the field, but he had an all-around game. But that's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.